So um, the last step that we're going to be doing is you're going to be um, using the buffing wheel. The buffing wheel is going to get into a nice mirror polish, nice mirror finish. Before anything, there's a sign. The sign says long hair has to be pulled back. Okay, no loose anything. So I'm wearing this sweater. This has to go. I can't have anything that can get caught in a high rotating thing. Okay, um, can I get rid of my lanyard? Um, I would probably also get rid of these. Most likely not, they won't be a problem, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, and eye protection. Naturally, I don't have my thing, my thing on. So, and you have to have safety glasses on. Um, the way that this turns on, there's a wheel in the front, or sorry, a button in the front. When it goes on, it turns on. Okay, for this wheel, for this buffing wheel, one person at a time. So, oh my god, I'm all fogged up. So, like, one person can be here, and that's it, or one person can be here, and that's it. You can't be working two people next to each other, okay? If there's somebody working on this wheel, someone can work on this wheel, because they're separate, okay? Um, as well as turning it on with this switch, on the bottom, there's a switch that turns on the blower. That's the blower, and that sucks all the garbage into the machine, okay? So you have to have the blower on and the wheels, okay? Um, this is the triple E compound wheel. This is the red rouge compound wheel. You cannot mix them up, okay? I have a little basket. This is the triple E compound. It's, like, very gritty, and it's the first, just like your sandpaper is very coarse, medium, fine. This is like the coarse stuff that like kind of gets all the, the scratches and everything out to start. Then this one is kind of polishes it a little bit more. And then this last wheel is just polishing. It doesn't have anything on it. Okay. So you always have to use, this is a, called a ring clamp. This ring clamp is what you put your piece into. Okay. So I'm using just a scrap piece of metal because, um, I don't want to actually have a main thing yet. So you have to like kind of organize this. Let me use this piece. It's a little easier to hold on to. Okay. The way the ring clamp goes, you're going to put the piece in here. Okay. And then there's like a little door stop wedge that goes in the back like that. Okay. And you push it and it holds on to it. Okay. Um, you want to make sure it's held on to it quick, I mean, uh, tightly, okay? You do not put anything in here without it being in a ring clamp. You don't put your hands in there. It's only with this, okay? Um, worst case scenario, if your piece gets sucked into the machine, don't panic. It does happen. All it's going to do is the wheel is going to grab it and it's going to just kick it to the back. Just make sure you turn it off before you start sticking your hands in there because it's still rotating, okay? Okay? Um, you want to keep your hands to this side, the outside of the wheel, because this is the spinny bit, okay? So you keep your hands out here, and you hold with two hands, and you're going to hold at like, like a, this is a clock, like four o'clock, four or five o'clock, you're going to kind of hold it over here, all right? So to start, we have the blower turn on. We turn this on, we do a little bit of compound onto the wheel, okay, not a ton, just like a little bit, okay, and then we start, okay, you're going to kind of keep your hands here, and you have to kind of like move it around a little bit, flip it, move it around, then you have to rotate it in here um, to get to the other side, okay, so I'm going to go. Safety glasses on. Wheel is on. Compound. Okay. Two hands. I'm going to be on this side. So you guys can see. It's getting it kind of shiny. Can you see? It's nice and shiny. Okay. So it's 
nice and shiny. Okay. Just tap it with your fingers. Huh? Just tap it. Can you feel that? Can you feel this hot? It's friction. Exactly, it is friction. So this is, it builds a lot of heat. So when you are going to rotate it, be aware and understand that it is horribly hot. So like, I like to let it go and then like kind of sometimes I, I twist it with my thing. The opposite side is not as hot, but it is still very hot. Okay? And then you do the opposite side. Okay, you do have to press into the wheel, not a lot. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna just say that that's done. Okay. Before you move on to this next wheel, what do you think you have to do? You don't want to contaminate this wheel with anything from this wheel. So what do I have to do to make sure I'm not contaminating this wheel with this stuff? Wash it off. Exactly. So at the sink, hot, hot, hot. Okay. at the sink, there are toothbrushes and du uh, Dawn dish soap. Okay. You wash it and scrub it because you guys are going to have like metal probably if it has any letters and things in it. It's the gunk is inside the, those grooves and stuff. So you need to make sure that you're getting that stuff out. So scrub, scrub, scrub. Okay. And then you'll be moving on to the red rouge wheel. And then that one really, really, really polishes it up. Same procedure. You get here, put it in the ring clamp, red rouge compound on here. You'll notice this one's like a little featherier. This one's like really, really tough. This one's trying to get all the scratches and everything out. This one's just trying to like polish it up. Okay? And then that one has nothing in it. Okay? But that's the procedure is put it in your ring clamp, compound, turn the blower on, turn this on, um, stay on this side of the wheel, polish, 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 flip it, polish, 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 wash it, same thing on the next one. Okay? Questions? Um, okay? Hair always back, glass is always on, and if anything happens that it gets like pulled in, turn it off before sticking your hands in, because that's like bad news bears. Okay? And as long as you keep it like right around here, don't go too high. If you go too high, it pulls it to the back. If you go too low, it pulls it to the back. So you gotta kind of stay like right around here. So it's like between three and six, like kind of like right in the middle, like at four, four like four and five. Okay, does that make sense? Questions? Comments, concerns? Yeah, that's fine. Just when you're putting it in the ring clamp, really make sure that it's secure. You might have to turn it a bunch of times, but you really want to make sure that it's uh, everything is nice and secure so it's in the ring clamp. Okay? Questions? Any other questions? Okay? You guys are good. Okay, so uh, that is the buffing wheel. You can use either side of this to hold it. Um, people tend to like this side, but if this side works for you, just flip it around and just put it in that side, okay? Um, that's it, okay? Don't mix up the compounds. That's the biggest, biggest thing. Once Triple E gets on here, this will never do its job, okay? And then always wash between using the stuff, okay? Awesome, guys.